Hey, hi guys. Uh, welcome to PCF. Uh, so today again, I'm came with a new concept actually. So in last video, uh, we have seen like how the Power BI will work with the Chart GPT. Chart GPT will give the uh, clear instructions like uh, how you want to write your Power Query, how to create the modeling, and how to create the visualization. All these things we have seen. Today we are going to see how the Chart GPT will help you to write the SQL queries. Okay, if you are a beginner, if you want to learn the chart GPT, okay, if you don't know how to log in the chart GPT and all, chart GPT is a revolution for the technology. Okay, the, so some of the people are asking the question, if the chart GPT came, all the technologies will go away or something like that, even the developers um, uh, work is gone or what, something they are thinking. No, more efficiency got increased. So when the Google is introduced, the efficiency got incre increased the same way even when the chart gpt is introduced the more efficiency got in introduced okay so if you want to log in chart gpt let me go with the new one so go here open dot uh, ai dot com chart dot chart dot open ai you can go with the chart dot open ai dot com and then press enter this will it will ask login so guess just to give a sign in and then so if you want to go with the Google account, you can go with the RLs. If you have a different different email IDs, you can enter email ID and then continue and then give a password. And then it will uh, send the verification code to you. So just you, you can give the verification code and then so log into your chart GPT. So once you log into chart GPT, so you will see this chart GPT and then examples, the capabilities and then limitations and all. So here you can ask any question. So it will uh, give you the direct answer, whatever the question you ask. So I am going to experiment on the SQL server. So in the SQL server, I'm going to ask the question like uh, case studies. Okay, case study, case studies on, uh, on SQL server, SQL server for beginners okay that's what i want to see okay so once you ask this question so what will what it will suggest certainly so you can go with the online bookmark stores and then employee management uh, system uh, and then social media platforms and then hr uh, so all these things so you can do and then so you can so what we will do we'll ask can you um give one case can you create or you can say can you give one case study in sql give one one of them can you give one of them so if, when you ask that so it will see the first one it took like online books so it is creating a books customers orders so uh, order items and then all these things Okay, we'll ask them. Okay, so it is, we'll ask the script actually. So it is ask, it is saying that it is giving a total explanation. Like, so what are there? So if it is a book online, so what are the tables you will have? So if it is uh, online bookstores, so you'll have the book table and then customer table, order table, order item table, and then order category table. So what we'll do, we'll ask to create the same tables. Can you create a tables for me? Can you create? Create tables, script, table, script, and insert data. Insert data for me. Okay, I'm asking to create a table and then insert data for me. So if you take that table, see it is creating a table for each and their books and then customers and then orders and then order items. Even it is also defining the primary key and then foreign keys as well. So even it is also inserting the sample data. So you can take a copy directly. You can take a copy directly and then you can use this for the sample purpose. Okay, whatever the question you'll ask. If you want to top sale book something or who is the top customer, all these kind of questions you can ask. Still it is writing or what. So let's go and then go down and then see. See it is already written. And then you, it will, it is created the books, customers, 
orders, order items, and then categories. So all this table is created. So if you want to execute the same script, okay, just to, no need to worry about anything, just to go and then take a copy and then create uh, this in by opening your SQL server. So just copy paste and then execute the script as this. It will create the books table and then customer table and everything. Okay. And then whatever the question you want to ask, you can ask the question also. Like uh, who, if you want to know uh, top sale book, I want to see, I want to see top sale book. Can you give a query for that? So whatever you want to learn, just you can ask the query. So it will generate the query for you. See, top sale book. So it is joining the two tables, books tables, and then order item tables, and then uh, doing the group by, and then it is taking the limit five. So see, some of the quantity. See, very simple. How quickly you can learn. So who is the top customer who has, you know, taken the more books? So if you want to write that query, also you can get the query also okay let me connect this and then connect my server and then you can connect to any one of these database so you can go with any one of these database so i'm just connecting this database and then create and go to new query and then even if you ask to create a new database also it will give the script for you okay see how greatly it is created the script guys see all this that is the beauty of the chart gpt so if you give a clear requirement, so like what is your table and then if you food feed all the tables and then feed the sample data, if you ask the question on top of that, whatever the requirement you have, it will also give the exact results. Okay, no need to worry about your work. Just give the table, whatever the table you have, the table um, created script and then so whatever the data, sample data you can give and then you can ask the question on top of that, it will give the answer, exact answer to you. So just so how to ask the question so if you ask proper question it will give the proper results otherwise it will um no it will not give that answer see so if you go down and then if i click execute so all this create create a book table is there uh, create customer table create order table and then create order item table and then see how beautifully it has written the see, create category and then also inserting the Books in the books, we have a book ID, title, author, publisher, price and all, and then category ID. So we have a you know, uh, customer table. In customer table also, you have so-and-so persons, and then category tables, and then. So these are the tables. So it is written only for the uh, categories, but it is not inserted for the, uh, okay, so order items. Order items also, it is inserted. So just we need to check this. So order item, it is not inserted. And then order books, it is inserted. Customer order. So only books, customer category, it is inserted. But what about the order? Order is not inserted or what? So can you, so we'll ask that. So order related information. So can you write the for order, order script also? Insert for the order item and then orders. Can you also... Can you also write the insert script for order table and order item table? So then it will write. See the insert, insert script, you can take that in insert C, order table and then order item table also it is written. How beautiful it is like, see? That is the you know beauty of the chart GPT. Case. So you can learn anything. Okay. So even it will also define the modeling, like how the tables, if you take certain business, okay, if you have a small business, okay, on the small business, if you want to create a table and then you want to maintain your data, yes, definitely you can go and then ask, okay, this is my business. So I want to create a table on that and then I want to maintain, um, I want to maintain so on so thing. Then you can ask that you can take a copy and then so you can go to the you can go to and then so we'll try to execute and then we'll ask the questions so just you can take and then click on execute button there is an execute button right just click on that see without any errors 
it is executed perfectly. See, all the rows are affected. All the tables are empty. So if you want to write the select, just select uh, start from books. See, books table came. And then select start from other table. So other table will come. Order item table, select star from order item. So order item table is also okay. So select star from category. So all you can write. See, if you execute this, whatever the script it has given. So those data you can see here. See, this is the book ID, title, author, publisher. And then order I orders. Okay, what are the orders? Even you can execute your customers. So all these questions. Okay, just now I asked the one question, right? Who is the now? What question I have asked before this uh, insert script? I have asked about the uh, top five selling books, right? Just take this script. Okay, what is the top five selling books? You can go and then paste it here and then execute. Try to execute this. What it is doing? So the limit. So it is not working the limit. Okay, you can. So when it is getting the syntax, so it is not working. The limit is not working in the SQL server, right? Just you can take a copy and then you can paste that. So the limit is not working, is not working in SQL server. You can ask that same question. Okay, no need to worry about that. So worry, uh, how you am getting the error? So how can I resolve this and all? No need to worry. Just you can paste that error and then it will give you okay see it will give you another query so instead of you know actually limit will not work in the uh, sql server so it is working in the so let me go with the sorry guys so that is the reason instead of limit it has used top five actually okay so i need top five books which uh, got you know highest sale something like that just you can take a copy and now if you execute this so it will work see instead of this okay if you paste this query and then execute it so this time it will work see this is the so how many quantities this sold so this is three quantities and then this is two three quantities and then these two quantities so these are the top five sales and then who is the top customer okay if you ask the who is the top customer something okay find the top customer write a query for write a query for finding top customer just you can ask that question so it will return that it will it will return for you see it is returning the details not top five i want the top one customer not top five i want only top one customer Just simply, you can ask that question. So, apologies for the confusion. See, it is uh, it is saying apologies. How beautiful it is saying, you know. See, now it has written the top one customer. See, just you can execute who is the top customer. So you can see, uh, and then you can execute the code. See, he is the top customer. So he spent this much time, this much amount the books so this way not only uh these books guys okay so not only these books okay whatever the uh, case studies it has given so you can go and then so whatever the sales case studies are you know any other uh, retail or whatever the book case study you want to go uh, see employee management okay if you want to see the employee management or the social platform media so social platforms like you know building the social media platforms creating a profiles post updates and then connecting with the friends Okay, create a table such as users, posts, friends, like even social media, like so that may be Facebook or, you know, YouTube or, you know, uh, Instagram. So, okay, on that also you can, it can create a table for you on that, like how many posts do you, you have and then how many friends and then how many likes and then comments and then everything we can analyze by using this chat GPT with the SQL. Okay, hope you like the video. Uh, please, uh, you know, um like and then so to encourage me give a like and then uh, subscribe my channel and uh, 
for more videos okay if you want more videos if you really feel excited so then give a comment okay when you give a comment it's more encouraged for me and then i will come up with a new concept and then i will um, create a videos for you guys okay thank you so much have a great day thank you